Așadar, doamnelor, domnilor, excelențe, doamnelor și domnilor ambasadori, bună ziua! Vă salutăm din piața Marea Adunării Naționale, din inima Republicii Moldova, o țară mică, dar cu inima mare, unde astăzi Delegația Uniunii Europene, împreună cu statele membre, lansează Ziua Europei 2022. Dragi jurnaliști, vă mulțumim că ați acceptat invitația noastră de a fi alături din nou cu prilejul lansării Zilei Europei 2022. Vă salutăm! Astăzi ne puteți urmări pe platforma privesc.eu, pe paginile de Facebook și YouTube ale Delegației Uniunii Europene Republica Moldova, dar și pe paginile Europe Day în Moldova și ale instituțiilor media din țară. Salutăm prezența la evenimenta excelenței sale domnul Ianis Majeix, ambasadorul Uniunii Europene Republica Moldova, precum și ai ambasadorilor statelor Uniunii Europene prezenți la eveniment. Dacă se poate să-i și aplaudă. Cu permisiunea dumneavoastră, pentru un cuvânt de salut, îl invit pe excelența sa, domnul Ianis Majeix, ambasadorul Uniunii Europene. Dear friends, dear ambassadors, colleagues and friends, We warmly welcome to the celebration of the Europe Day here in the European Village in Chisinau, part of the Europe Day 22 uh, celebration. Today we gather again physically after two years of separation due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which really was making a dent also for our work as diplomats, but also our community as Europeans so really glad to see us all and you all uh, here together in uh, physical form not on screens Europe day uh, this year is marked by a context that really deeply saddens us because we are celebrating Europe day in the context of unjustified aggression of the Russian Federation against a sovereign country uh, Ukraine And this makes Europe Day, unfortunately, special this year. As a number of people are being killed every day, including today. And this is why uh, the subject of uh, the Europe Day celebrations for us today is solidarity for peace. And this is, I think, a good reminder that European Union is a peace project because Europe Day started from war. Europe Day started from uh, the countries of Europe that had been at war with each other many, many times. And ever since we have been working on this community of European countries, our predecessors have been working on this European project, we have been at peace. And I think this is what is important also when we talk about Europe Day today. And this is also the context how, why and how we are providing support to the Republic of Moldova collectively, uh, each of the member states, also EU as a whole, uh, because we together are committed to bringing prosperity, more rule of law, stronger democracy, also the people of Republic of Moldova. We aim to improve the lives of the citizens of the Republic of Moldova in a very tangible way so that every citizen of the Republic of Moldova would feel our engagement, uh, be it through the association agreement or be it through the benefits of the deep and comprehensive free trade agreement, be it uh, the greater connectivity in the energy and in transport areas. The EU assistance has brought tangible results for many, if not all, the people of the Republic of Moldova. Over the past years, we have implemented uh, more than 1,000 projects all over the country, which has uh, directly improved the lives of half a million of people of uh, Moldova, and indirectly it has benefited all the people in the Republic of Moldova. We have sub supported thousands of small and medium-sized enterprises so that they can work better than they can export to the European markets. And this is, I think, also where their success story comes from because by now two-thirds of exports of uh, the Republic of Moldova come to the European markets. It has been also through direct support to the government technical assistance projects, grants to civil society, and access to EU projects. And for the last two years, we have heard all 
about Team Europe. And I'm joined here today uh, with, by our Team Europe because it all started with our support uh, in the COVID-19 pandemic when we provided unified support to the Republic of Moldova, pulling our resources together so that we can do it better, not only the member states, but also the European Investment Bank and European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. So this has been not only for uh, handling the consequences of COVID-19 pandemic, but also uh, supporting the country uh, through the economic consequences of that pandemic. Mold Republic of Moldova was also the first one in the world, in fact, to benefit from uh, the COVAX facility and the EU civil protection mechanism. And uh, this civil protection mechanism has been also one of the visible ways how we have shown our pooling of resources in uh, the refugee crisis. Because with the assistance of 17 EU member states and Norway, we have uh, provided support to the Republic of Moldova uh, both bilaterally and through EU civil protection mechanism and bilaterally. Also, it would be amiss for me not to mention uh, the particular good context of today's celebration because uh, this year the Republic of Moldova has advanced its path of European integration one step further by applying for EU membership. And two days ago we had the pleasure of receiving the answers of the Republic of Moldova to a very comprehensive questionnaire, so a large set of questions that the European Commission had asked the Republic of Moldova government to better understand where your country stands, to better understand how well uh, advanced are you on the European path. So I got a heap of documents. It was, well, I would, if, I would, if I would need to stack it, I think it would be a stack of papers this big, which was provided in very sh uh, short time period, matter of weeks, which showed how committed the government and the people of the Republic of Moldova are to advance on this path of European integration. And we had also a very nice element of advancing our relationship for us as a European uh, Union delegation, because two days ago we moved in uh, a very nice premises, new delegation building, which will make also our uh, opportunities to work with you even better. So, on Europe Day, we stand together with the Republic of Moldova. In Bruno, sunt mai puternici. Mulțumesc! Excelență, vă mulțumim! Ziua Europei marchează valorile fundamentale ale Uniunii Europene, pace, unitate în diversitate, solidaritate. Dragi prieteni, formatul evenimentului de astăzi e interesant prin faptul că avem ocazia să discutăm și cu ambasadorii statelor membre ale Uniunii Europene. Avem o întrebare, de fapt două întrebări în una comună pentru excelențele sale. Bineînțeles că vom începe cu domnul Majeix. Ce înseamnă ziua Europei pentru dumneavoastră și solidaritatea europeană pentru pace? Well, uh, Europe Day. I think it is first of all a reminder of what we are and who we are because we are a working progress and when you're working you forget to celebrate. But I think it is very good that we, there is this one day a year when we can think of uh, who we are as Europeans. For me personally, it is also about uh, the opportunity because I come from a member state and this joint project has given opportunities to the country that I come from to develop faster, to develop better, but it has also given opportunities to me uh, to be part of this joint project so that together with the member states, I can also contribute to building Europe stronger, building uh, Europe more uh, oriented towards solidarity, because I think in a country like Republic of Moldova, this is what people need. You need more development, you need peace, you need stability, and you need the solidarity of the European Union. Mulțumim. Uh, aceeași întrebare pentru fiecare dintre dumneavoastră. Ce înseamnă ziua Europei pentru dumneavoastră și țara dumneavoastră, precum și solidaritatea europeană 
pentru pace. Dacă îmi permiteți, am să acord prioritate unicei doamne ambasador în, în acest șir frumos de, de oameni, doamna Stella Avalone, ambasadoare extraordinară și plenipotențiară ambasadei Austriei în Republica Moldova. Well, thank you very much. Uh, multumesc. Uh, I, I would say for me Europe Day and uh, Europe symbolizes the strength that uh, the European Union and its member states have uh, by standing together. We have to remember that the European Union uh, went through several important crises in the last years. Uh, I just mentioned the economic and financial crisis, then the refugee flows in 2015, then the pandemic, uh, now the war in Ukraine. And uh, um, each of these crises has made the European Union and its member states uh, even stronger. We all have our competencies. Uh, we all have our strengths and we complement each other in our work. And uh, this is a good model to see that you can solve tricky issues uh, in hard and fair discussions and not uh, by aggression. And I think this is also a model for those countries who want uh, to be more educated in Europe, who want to get closer integrated with the European Union, like uh, our guest country, Moldova. Mulțumim. Paul Graham, ambasador extraordinar și plenipotențiar, ambasada Franței în Republica Moldova. Mulțumesc. Uh, bună ziua. The European Day is a, a day of celebration, of course, but it's also a day of reflection. I don't want to be too personal, but uh, my parents, grandparents, great-grandparents have all experienced war. In uh, 70 years in France, between 1870 and 1940, we fought three wars with Germany on French soil. So for me, the European Union, the European process has provided us my generation, and I do hope the next generation, with solidarity and peace. It's in the DNA of Europe, and I think we need to reflect on that. Be the uh, reality today when the war is in Ukraine. Mulțumim. Domnul Pavel Ivan, ambasador extraordinar și plenipotențial, ambasada Slovaciei în Republica Moldova. Bună ziua, good afternoon, dobre popoludne, this is in my native Slovak language. Welcome at today's Europe Day celebrations. I am newcomer, new ambassador of Slovakia and very happy, pleased to be and to become uh, part of European family and uh, uh, EU uh, family in uh, uh, Kishinov in Moldova. Uh, answering to your question, what does it mean uh, Europe's Day for me? Uh, it reminding me uh, when I was a little bit younger, 18 years ago when I was appointed uh, ambassador of Slovakia to South Africa, And uh, 18 years ago, 1st of May uh, 2004, Slovakia, together with another uh, 10 countries of Central Eastern Europe, uh, joined the European Union. So uh, for me, it means uh, that uh, Slovakia, uh, uh, 18 years ago, uh, uh, became integral full part an equal uh, member of the European uh, Union. Uh, and uh, I would like to inform and to tell Moldova people, Moldova journalists, Moldova students, and Moldova uh, participants at today's celebrations that why Slovakia uh, 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 decided to join the European Union. Because not only government, but all society people, private sector, young people, elder people, uh, 
decided to join the European Union and even supported this decision uh, in referendum. So it should be uh, joint determination and joint decision of the country, of the society. Now number two, my, my uh, message for uh, uh, Moldova people, Mo Moldova journalists, which you have to pay more attention to this in your work. Uh, Slovakia and I am sure uh, the other uh, uh, countries of Central Eastern Europe join the European Union because uh, European Union is a uh, uh, common economic market and giving uh, mer uh, many, many benefits. And especially uh, uh, we decided to join EU because EU uh, it's about three freedoms, three basic important fundamental freedoms. Freedom of the movement of people, freedom of the movement of the goods, and freedom of the movement of uh, services. So this is very important and that's why I hope that Moldova uh, will be successfully uh, going on his road to the EU, uh, uh, on his European road, and don't forget about this uh, uh, three uh, freedom about, uh, in, on the way uh, uh, when you will be approaching uh, European uh, Union. Of course, as it was pointed out by the head of EU delegation, Ambassador uh, Yanis, uh, European Union is about, uh, it's a, it's a uh, peace project. And uh, I think we all support EU because EU gives and brings and guarantees peace, stability, and prosperity. And we are all for united, peaceful, and democratic Europe. Let's don't forget this. This is uh, even my personal uh, message in this respect. I am very sorry uh, to be a little bit longer, but I decided uh, uh, to say this a few words uh, because it was from my heart and coming from my uh, experience. I am very happy to be in Moldova, Kishinov. Uh, uh, in conclusion, I would like to say following. Uh, I so far didn't visit many places in your country, uh, but I visited one place with my wife and with the uh, my defense attache and his family last month. It was Krikova. Such beautiful, such professional, such excellent place uh, that you are already in Europe. You don't need to, uh, yeah, you just need to sell, to promote this and to make it as an integral part of your national identity, of your trademark of Republic of Moldova. And I'm sure that you will be successful you are very hospitable, friendly, and hard worker people like Slovakians, and I wish you all the best. Mulțumesc. Vă mulțumim. Lorenzo Tomasone, ambasador extraordinar și plenipotențiar, ambasada Italiei în Republica Moldova. Mulțumesc, bună ziua. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Well, um... Try another one. <laughs> this one works, all right. The third one is always a good one. So, um, I was saying that um, today's values, the values of Europe today, the meaning of Europe today, is the same that Europe had yesterday and the same that Europe will have tomorrow. Uh, my sense is that we should stick to the fundamental values uh, of uh, uh, Schumann, uh, Adenauer, the Gasperi, Spock, the founding fathers and mothers, because they were founding mothers too, uh, of uh, the process of European integration. Uh, principles and values that were embodied in the uh, Ventotene Manifesto, written by an Italian, Altiero Spinelli, during World War II, it has to do with war, of course, peace starts from war, um, when he called for a united and free Europe. That was the goal yesterday, it's the goal today. We should then remember that the process of European integration started in 1951 with a community uh, for coal, 
and steel that had to do with energy. And I guess that this, this rings a bell today. <laughs> it was coal in those days, it's gas today. So put resources in common, find common solutions for common problems, find independence uh, as much as uh, gas and energy are concerned in order to be free and united. Now, um, in terms of solidarity, what does solidarity mean? Well, solidarity, first of all, means solidarity in, uh, in condemning uh, the aggressor, in sanctioning the aggressor. Uh, there's a war going on, we should not forget. So there's a past war, past wars in Europe, but there's a war in Europe right now. Right now, while we're talking, there's a war going on, people are dying. So we need to condemn the aggressor, we need to sanction the aggressor, and at the same time, um, we need to support, to express solidarity to the aggressed, to the attacked, and to neighboring states, um, starting, of course, with, um, with Moldova. And this support has come from the EU and from EU member states in financial terms, in political terms, in kind as well. Now, the main support right now for Moldova is full support uh, to um, uh, the uh, request for um, accession to the uh, European Union of Moldova. Uh, we all support it. Um, uh, we are very glad to support it. We believe that this is key uh, to the European security, to regional security, to world security and stability. Um, I can certainly tell that Moldovans are in the heart of Italians, of Italian people. We're proud to host 300,000 Moldovans in Italy who are perfectly integrated in the European Union right now. They are ready, they're already there. And uh, I can also glad to tell you that uh, Moldova is very much in the heart of our Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Luigi Di Maio. Um, we are together with you, we stand by you. Impreuni suntem mai puternici. Mulțumim. Domnul Uldis Micuț, ambasador extraordinar și plenipotențiar, ambasada Letoniei Republica Moldova. Mulțumesc! Bună ziua tuturor! Uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. A lot of uh, positive uh, adjectives have been sent already. And I will, I think, uh, mention uh, another two elements. One, uh, you know, I'm coming from Latvia, which is comparably the same size uh, with the Republic of Moldova, comparably the same uh, number of people, and I think, uh, comparably with the same ambition to prove ourselves uh, through the hard work and uh, through, you know, the knowledge and, and skills. And so, Europe, for me at least, is about future, about those opportunities which are given to me, to my country. And I'm fully sure that uh, these opportunities are absolutely ahead of the Republic of Moldova and its people as well. So that's first, about future. And second, uh, you know, um, in the middle of 90s, when I still was in the last grades uh, in school, um, there was a very popular question. So, you know, at that time, EU was composed of 15 uh, member states. And the question was, what's the difference between European Union and the Soviet Union? Because, you know, there were 15 republics of the Soviet Union. And actually, the answer was absolutely clear. It's about uh, values and it's about freedoms. Freedoms of speech, freedom of press, freedom of uh, being yourself. And the third, it's about peace. It's about peace as well. So, Europe for me is about future and about values and, and freedoms. And, uh, you know, last but not least, I do hope that uh, in a foreseeable future, sooner than later, Latvia will definitely sit around the same table at the European uh, Union institutions, conferences, whatever, together with the Republic of Moldova. And I truly hope and believe to this. Thank you. Thank you. Domnul Sandor Sabo, ambasador extraordinar și plenipotențiar, ambasada Ungariei în Republica Moldova. Good afternoon to everyone. Bună ziua. 
I am very happy to be here with you. Thank you very much, the floor from you. Uh, I think that it is a very, very special case, uh, regardless that in the previous years we have celebrated this day, but two years we have missed, unfortunately. And now I am especially happy that uh, we could organize with the participation together with you this very nice event. Uh, we were asked about the meaning of the word uh, uh, what does it mean to be together and what does it mean solidarity. And when this word is asked about uh, the present time, immediately it came to my mind the word, the war. The war between Russia and Ukraine. And we are very, very proud of them that everyone who is sitting here and our countries, which are we represent, we are solidarity with Ukraine. We condemn the aggression against this country, against this sovereign country. And we very, very would like to finish the war as soon as possible. Uh, the second uh, show is which is very connected uh, to your country, to the Republic of Moldova and to Hungary, because we are, uh, in this case, very, very in a similar situation. We are neighbor of the country, of Ukraine. And uh, as I know, approximately 500,000 uh, people came from Ukraine, not only Ukrainian, but uh, different nationalities. Uh, you have to know that in our case, in Hungary, it is almost 700,000. So it is a very high number. Of course, Hungary is, has 10 million, Republic of Moldova only 3 million, but it is a very high number. But we are very, very similar on that, but we have accommodated those people who wanted to stay in the territory of our country, uh, but not only accommodated, but even giving them working places or for their children uh, education, so, which is very highly appreciated by everyone. And last uh, but not at least, uh, you have to know that every embassy has here tents, tents, and Hungary is not an exception. I very, very would like to invite you to the Hungarian tents because we have pre prepared of our kind guests, Hungarian goulash. Thank you very much. Mulțumim. Evgeni Stefanov Stoicev, ambasador extraordinar și plenipotențiar, ambasada Bulgariei în Republica Moldova. Alo, Your Excellencies, uh, uh, dear journalist, representatives of the media, dear friends. As uh, my colleagues underline, Europe Day marks the values uh, of European Union. First and foremost, peace, unity, and solidarity. I would highlight that the European Union also means a lot of opportunities for development for each citizen and for an entire country. With the accession to the European Union, my country, Bulgaria, has made significant progress in its economy, cultural, social development, and positioning. Clearly, There is a lot of work to be done in order to meet the status of candidate country to the European Union for the Republic of Moldova. I wish the Republic of Moldova confidently and successfully walk its path to accession to the European Union. I would also like to note that solidarity is one operating principle of the European Union. Team Europe is a clear example of the application of this principle in relations to the European Union's partners. Therefore, on the occasion of Europe Day today, I wish the citizens of the Republic of Moldova to be able to benefit from the European development and living conditions there here at home. And we, the colleagues, our countries, the European Union, certainly stand by you because uh, yes we are and will be stronger together
Domnul Kine Ulrich, însărcinat cu afaceri, șef adjunct al misiunii Ambasada Germaniei în Republica Moldova. Hello, yeah. Um, thank you. Yeah, um, uh, for Germany, uh, the European Union and uh, European unity is an immeasurable gift. Uh, nobody would have dreamed, let alone expected, that Germany, after the horrors it brought over the world in World War II, would ever be accepted again in the civilized world. So, to this day, all Germans are very grateful to France. The ambassador pointed out the very painful history between Germany and France over the centuries, and uh, the other, first Western European, and then when it was possible, Central and Eastern European countries, to extend their hand to Germany and to welcome it in the European uh, family. So, for Germany, for Germans, every day in the European Union, every day, every hour, every second of being a member of the European family is a cause to celebrate. Thank you very much. Vă mulțumim. Domnul Marius Ciprian Tot, prim colaborator, ministru plenipotențiar, Ambasada României, Republica Moldova. Bună ziua, excelențele voastre, domnilor și doamnelor ambasadori, dragi colegi, stimați jurnaliști, dragi cetățeni ai Republicii Moldova, dragi prieteni. Pentru mine personal, ziua Europei are o semnificație deosebită. În primul rând, este un prilej de bucărie. În al doilea rând, este un prilej de a sărbători și de a onora tot ceea ce înseamnă pachetul de valori și principii care au stat la baza construcției europene. Vorbim aici de demnitate, de respectarea drepturilor omului, de valori democratice, libertățile, cele patru libertăți care au fost menționate deja și așa mai departe. Anul acesta, Ziua Europei, capătă o semnificație deosebită, deoarece sărbătorim Ziua Europei într-un context internațional extraordinar de, de grav. Vorbesc de agresiunea militară a Federației Rusiei în Ucraina, un război absolut deloc justificat, absolut deloc drept, care generează traume și tra tragedii umane, dar și uh, multiple crize uh, pe toate planurile. De aceea, uh, anul acesta, Ziua Europei, din punctul meu de vedere, uh, capătă și această uh, semnificație deosebită, pentru că uh, să nu uităm construcția europeană, ceea ce avem în zilele noastre, Uniunea Europeană, a pornit de la ideea de pace. Iată că de 70 de ani, 72 de ani, pacea a reușit să fie prezentă pe teritoriul continentului european și noi, ca, ca Uniunea Europeană, ca state membre ale Uniunii Europene, suntem solidari și cu siguranță reprezentăm o voce unică pe scena internațională în a condamna și a milita pentru pace nu numai pe teritoriile noastre, pe teritoriile statelor membre, dar și în vecinătatea noastră și aici desigur mă refer la, în principal la ceea ce se întâmplă acum în Ucraina. Uh, dar, până la urmă, uh, o zi de sărbătoare trebuie să fie și un prilej de bucurie. De aceea, 
Uh, haideți să privim cu toții uh, cu optimism spre viitor și uh, chiar spre viitorul apropiat, cu speranța că uh, ceea ce se petrece în aceste momente uh, se va uh, termina cât mai curând posibil și vom uh, pune cu toții uh, mâna la uh, reconstrucția Ucrainei la susținerea în continuare a celor trei țări care au depus cereri de obținere a statutului de țară candidată la Uniunea Europeană, Ucraina, Georgia și, bineînțeles, Republica Moldova. La mulți ani Europa, la mulți ani Republica Moldova. Mulțumesc! Vă mulțumim! Domnul Floris Van Eyck, șeful oficiului Ambasada Regatului Țărilor de Jos în Republica Moldova. Dear colleagues and friends and members of the press, it's a pleasure to be with you again on this beautiful Europe Day. The Netherlands is founding member of the European Union and a firm believer in this project that needs to be strengthened continuously. What does mean does it mean Europe Day for me? Well, I think it is a moment of reflection and it's a moment of celebration. Reflection on what the European Union stands for and how important that is, democracy, human rights, peace, economic prosperity, a government that works for all of its citizens. <coughs> and we have seen that those values have come under threat. We have seen that in the most blatant way with the aggression against Ukraine by Russia, but we have seen it in other ways and forms. So democracy is something that needs maintenance, it needs protection, and there is no better way than to do that by the cooperation between countries in a multinational organization like the European Union that has had a huge benefit for each of the countries that is a member. Um, it is also a celebration. What do we celebrate? I think, to sum it up, in short, we celebrate diversity. We are all different countries, all different histories, different backgrounds, different ethnic minorities. Um, and we have shown, I believe, that in the European Union, working together despite our differences makes us stronger. We are stronger as one, literally. That is very important, and that is what we celebrate today. Now, what does it mean, solidarity? I think solidarity, in this case, obviously, solidarity with Moldova, uh, means we want to move it closer to the European Union. And uh, some important steps have been set in this direction. Uh, we stand ready bilaterally as the Netherlands, but also as the European Union and all of its member states to help Moldova become a stronger democracy, to protect it better security-wise, uh, to help it grow its economy, to help it better protect uh, its human rights of all of its citizens. Uh, that is what we stand for. And I hope that uh, Moldova will continue to be part of uh, the U European family and will continue to thrive. Thank you very much. Vă mulțumim. Domnul Martin Cech, șef adjunct al misiunii Ambasada Republicii Cehe în Republica Moldova. Bună ziua, good afternoon. I am really very happy to be here at this event as an representative of my country, the Czech Republic. I think uh, I could give a very short response to your first question. What does mean the Europe Day for us? I would say it is one of our national holidays. Uh, I think the Euro European dimension has turned, uh, turned uh, a uh, part of our na national identity which cannot be separated uh, anymore. It opened uh, many opportunities, uh, uh, many new ways of thinking, uh, contacts with other countries. So uh, we are really ready to celebrate uh, uh, the Europe Day as our national holiday. As for your second question, what uh, does uh, uh, solidarity mean? I think uh, the solidarity can become a big uh, 
power to defend the values of the, the European community. The EU integration is an uh, inclusive project uh, which is uh, uh, opening uh, new opportunities for uh, uh, sometimes discriminated uh, regions or individuals or countries. So uh, uh, there are many people who are really willing to defend this project. They will defend it not because they are obliged to, or that they are forced to do that, that they uh, 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 will have a real will to, uh, to, to defend uh, uh, the EU and the, the EU integration. Last but not least, uh, what's my message for Moldova and its uh, citizens? I would say, if you have a really strong will to belong to uh, the EU, to this community. It will be the biggest asset for you to overcome all uh, difficulties or uh, uh, technicalities of this accession uh, process. Thank you very much for your attention. Mulțumim. Excelențe, vă mulțumim, stimați prieteni, doamnelor și domnilor, vă invităm în cele ce urmează la o scurtă sesiune de întrebări și răspunsuri. Avem câteva întrebări de la reprezentanții mass media care au venit din timp, specifice pentru unii dintre excelențele sale, dar și un microfon pe mijloc, în cazul în care vreun reprezentant mass media va avea vreo întrebare, e liber să, să o pună. Așadar, prima întrebare vine de la Nisporeni, de la Albasat TV, pentru... Ambasadorul Uniunii Europene Republica Moldova. Republica Moldova a trimis răspunsurile la chestionarul pentru aderarea la Uniunea Europeană. Este un moment istoric. De ce este nevoie pentru ca procesul de aderare să fie mai rapid? Uh, well, this is a process which has two components. One is the technical component, which is uh, something that you can't really make faster because it will take all the political, well, all the technical steps that are necessary. So as you needed to prepare the questionnaire and the answers to the questionnaire, now the European Commission needs to prepare its opinion and to see if that information is sufficient, if there's some uh, more information that is necessary and so on. And then there is uh, the political component because uh, now once the European Commission will have adopted the opinion on the membership of uh, the Republic of Moldova on Georgia and in Ukraine, then it will be the job of the European Council. And that is perhaps where you can think about speed, because uh, indeed you have gathered speed. Uh, at the beginning of the year, nobody was thinking of uh, Republic of Moldova even possibly applying for membership. Now uh, the Commission has been asked by European Council to prepare this opinion in a very short time. So the momentum is there. But uh, then it is really also the aspect of the member states' competence, the heads of state and government who will come together and decide how to proceed with these applications of membership and opinions. Because there the experiences are quite varied and that is for the future to be uh, established. But I think what is important is that Republic of Moldova does continue on the path of European integration, that you bring yourselves together uh, closer to the European Union so uh, that the issues that still need to be overcome are less and less for the future. Mulțumim. Următoarea întrebare vine către reprezentantul Ambasadei României în Republica Moldova de la Soroca, uh, SOR TV. Circulă o teorie. Republica Moldova ar trebui să se unească cu România. Astfel ar deveni automat partea Uniunii Europene și NATO. Deci să fie ferită de o posibilă agresiune a Rusiei. Sunteți de acord? Prima întrebare. Și a doua, când credeți că Republica Moldova și România se vor întâlni în Uniunea Europeană? Mulțumesc frumos pentru cele două întrebări. Cu permisiunea dumneavoastră voi începe cu cea de-a doua. Voi răspunde la cea de-a doua întrebare. Eu sper că România și Republica Moldova se vor reîntâlni în, în cadrul Uniunii Europene cât mai curând posibil. Desigur, asta nu înseamnă că 
Acest, această reîntâlnire va avea loc mâine. Este un proces de durată și România, așa cum a declarat de fiecare dată, a susținut, susține și va susține parcursul european al Republicii Moldova către aderarea spre, spre Uniunea Europeană. În ceea ce privește cea de-a doua întrebare, desigur, este vorba, în primul rând, de istorie, este vorba de momentul istoric, de oportunitatea situației actuale de pe scena internațională și cu siguranță că cea mai bună soluție este cea de-a doua, respectiv să ne reîntâlnim în cadrul Uniunii Europene. Mulțumesc frumos! Mulțumim! Din nou o întrebare către ambasadorul Uniunii Europene, Republica Moldova, de la Comrat, ATV Comrat. În Găgăuzia oamenii sunt foarte îngrijorați despre faptul că Republica Moldova ar putea fi atrasă în războiul din Ucraina. Cum credeți, ar putea să se întâmple acest lucru sau nu? Of course, we are all concerned about uh, maintenance of peace. Uh, and that is why uh, we are working literally every day on uh, the peaceful development of the continent. That is why you see the visits of European officials, of uh, officials of the member states, to give a clear sign of, uh, clear sign of solidarity for peace uh, to the people of Republic of Moldova, that we are working together uh, for peaceful development of the country and for it not to be involved in a conflict. I think it is very important that the Republic of Moldova has had a very clear and principled position. On the one hand, firmly condemning the Russian aggression against uh, Ukraine, and on the other hand, re re recalling its uh, neutrality. And on the third element, of course, of its uh, European vector. So we are working uh, for peaceful development here and for we do not see any signs that uh, this could change uh, for the worse in the Republic of Moldova. Mulțumim. O întrebare către ambasadorul Ungariei în Republica Moldova de la Căușeni, Studio Le. Ce părere aveți despre decretul de o zi al adunării populare a Găgăuziei privind purtarea panglicii Sfântul Gheorghe pe teritoriul autonomiei? Thank you very much for the question. The question is a little bit provocative, but I very, very like provocative questions and answering them. Uh, first of all, uh, I am not a citizen of Republic of Moldova and not part of Gagauzia, but not secret, but I am a, a, a very, very, very follower and believer uh, the uh, essentially working autonomy in every countries. Uh, included Republic of Moldova. What the National Assembly of Gagauzia decided, there are, according to my knowledge, there are many uh, disputes and discussions uh, because the central uh, parliament, there is a decision as well. And now uh, 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 people from the uh, justice are discussing which is a higher uh, uh, law in, in, in the country. Uh, but uh, It is on the, about the justice, but about the, in the practice, what I have seen, because I visited 6th of May, uh, Chadur Linga, uh, Lunga, the s city of uh, Gagauzia. Uh, it was their so-called national day on the so-called Hederles. And among those peoples, I have seen many, very, 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 very few people who was wavering uh, this. Uh, this uh, St. George uh, ribbon. And uh, what about the 9th of May? Uh, I was not wit witnessing in Gagauzia, but I have seen in the TV report that when the people in Comrat uh, had this march, uh, not, not so much people was to see to, to wear this, this ribbons. Of course, it is the internal issue of the Republic of uh, Moldova, and I wish them to solve the problem as soon as possible. 
Vă mulțumim. Și ultima întrebare vine de la Orhei, de la Elita TV, către ambasadorul Franței în Republica Moldova. În viziunea dumneavoastră, este oare cazul să fie discutate modele de soluții a problemei transnistrene înainte de a cunoaște finalitatea războiului din Ucraina? Sau aceasta depinde doar de finalitatea acestui război? It's a difficult question and uh, it's not a question that uh, will be solved by, by France but by uh, the authorities of Chisinau and uh, Tiraspol. So, but clearly it's a geopolitical issue. So, uh, on a personal standpoint, I think we will need to have a positive geopolitical framework to do that. And of course, the war in Ukraine is not helping right now. So let's see which development will happen. But for sure, we need to maintain peace and a good uh, working relation right now. And that's very important for uh, the citizen of this country. Mulțumim. Excelențele voastre, estimați jurnaliști, dragi prieteni, mulțumim pentru uh, acest dialog, pentru această oră petrecută împreună. Vă invităm să fiți parte a orășelului european din Chișinău. De seară, uh, foarte important de anunțat acum, până nu am dispărut din, uh, din acest loc, uh, vă invităm la un concert uh, cu începere de la 19.00, cu ocazia Zilei Europei, Solidar pentru Pace, urmat de difuzarea aici în inima Republicii Moldova a finalei Eurovision, în speranța că bai noștri se vor ridica cât mai sus în clasament. Iar în continuare vă invităm să ascultăm intonarea imnurilor Uniunii Europene și a Republicii Moldova, dar și un scurt recital oferit de Orchestra Model și Corul Credo al Inspectoratului General de Carabiniere al MAI, precum și prezentarea unui număr de dresaj al cabalinelor. Vă mulțumim!